a Vietnam War hero from the west side of the state, had definitely quite a day at the White House. No doubt about it. Uh, perhaps you were watching it. Uh, it was broadcast live earlier today. James uh, McLuhan was awarded the Medal of Honor for his bravery on the battlefield nearly 50 years ago. Our Priya Mann has been following this story. He joins us now with uh, a very rare honor uh, for a man after so many years of serving. Yeah, that's right. In most cases, the Medal of Honor needs to be awarded within five years of the recipient's heroic actions. For McLuhan, lawmakers passed legislation to weigh that time limit and make today's ceremony possible. Today, we pay tribute to a veteran who went above and beyond the call of duty to protect our comrades, our country, and our freedom. Today, the president awarded the nation's highest honor to Specialist 5, James McLuhan. As Jim now says, I would have rather died on the battlefield than know that men died because they did not have a medic. During the Vietnam War, the then 23-year-old South Haven man is credited with saving the lives of 10 comrades. I wasn't going to leave my men. No. In May of 1969, the Battle of New Yon Hill had been raging for 48 hours. The Army medic refused to leave the battlefield, although being hit by shrapnel and small arms fire. I was so busy doing what I, what I had to do in their adrenaline was flowing that I really didn't know how badly I was hit. Nearly a half century later, McLuhan got a call from a senior DOD official with news he would be awarded the Medal of Honor. She said, sir. I have the president of the United States on the other line for you. And he said, boy, your men didn't give up. He said they, were, they fought tooth and nail for you to get this award. But he says this medal is for all 89 men in his unit, including the 13 who gave the ultimate sacrifice. If I didn't have the people covering me that I had covering me, I'd have been a dead duck out there in that, in that crossfire. And like most heroes, the retired teacher and coach is very humble. But here's something to consider. Less than two out of every 10,000 service members have earned the Medal of Honor. Today, there are just 71 living recipients. McLuhan will make it 72. Thank you for your service.